All right, glory to God. So in this video, I want to talk about are all sins equal? Now, yes, sin is something that God doesn't like at all. Sin is displeasing to God. It should be displeasing to us. But um, in this video, I want to help you have a better understanding of the levels of sin. Now, in, now the, before we can even answer if all sins are equal, we have to know what is sin. Okay, so I have three verses here that um, give us a, a very good understanding of what sin is to begin with. Now, let's start with James 4, verses 17. So if we read in James 4, 17, it says, Therefore to him that knoweth to do good, and does not do it, to him it is sin. Okay, so here it says, if you know to do good and you don't do good, to you it is sin. Uh, let's go to 1 John 3 verses uh, 4. 1 John 3 verses 4. And it says, Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So here we see the first one is uh, was uh, knowing to do good and not doing it. The second one speaks more about breaking the laws of God. And here is the final example that we're going to go to is in John 14, uh, no, John 12, verses 48. Excuse me. John 12, verses 48. Verses 48. This is what Jesus says. He says, He that rejected me and receiveth not my words hath one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. So we see that the words of Jesus Christ also is something that we have to uh, keep and follow because the words of Jesus Christ are very important for our spiritual life. You see, it even says in Matthew, it says that we, we don't live by bread alone, but by the words of God. So to, to make a, a, a brief summary of what sin is, we're going we're gonna to show you in all these three. So James, it says, uh, we, to summarize, neglecting. Neglecting good, just to summarize, this is uh, breaking this is breaking the law, and this is And then rejecting God's word. To summarize all three of all three definitions of what sin is. Okay. Now, now I want to go to a verse in Romans six verses twenty three to show you that all sin is bad in of itself. It says, "For the wages of sin is death." But the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Okay, so sin ultimately is bad because it causes death. It produces death in your life. Okay, so sin, sin is something that we should have no enjoyment in at all. Now, now let's see. I want you to, uh, to show you um, why all sins are not equal according to Jesus' words. Now let's go to John 19 verses 11. John 19 verse 11. We're going to show you why not all sins are equal in the eyes of God. John 19 verses 11. It says, Jesus answered, 
Thou couldst have no power at all against me. This is when Jesus was being uh, brought before the kings to be executed and crucified, you know. Um, he was speaking to Pilate. He says, Thou couldst have no power at all against me, except they were given thee from above. Therefore, he that delivered me unto thee hath the greater sin. Now, when Jesus is speaking to Pilate, he says that, the person who brought me to, to you had committed the greater sin. So we know that if there is a greater sin, then there automatically has to be a lesser sin. Okay, now another example for back to James 4 verse 17, where it says neglecting to do good. We can also say that if you choose to do evil instead of doing good, you're sinning. So... Uh, and James 4 is more like a passive. It says that if you don't do, if you don't do what's good. But another w uh, way you can view it is if you choose to do evil instead of doing good, you're committing a sin. Okay. Now, now since there is in this verse in in John 19:11, it shows us that there is a lesser sin. There is a lesser sin, and there's a greater sin. See, Jesus said that whoever had delivered him to, to be crucified had committed the greater sin. And we know that that was Judas because Judas sold Jesus uh, for 30 p uh, pieces of silver. Okay, so he sold them for money. Now, another thing I want to clarify is that um, some people believe that uh, Peter and Judas committed the same sin, but uh, that's false. You see, I'll explain why. Um, you see, Judas, he sold Jesus out for 40 pieces of silver, but Peter, he denied Jesus. Now, the reason why uh, it's different is for two reasons. Uh, Peter, uh, uh, Judas did it voluntarily. He, he knew that what he was doing was wrong. And, and he did it because he wanted money. He did it because he had an ulterior motive. However, Peter in denying Jesus, Peter denied Jesus out of fear. You see, it's two different. One of them was because he was, there was a fear involved as to why he did it. Because he saw how they were beating Jesus, mistreating him, spitting in his face. And he denied Jesus out of fear. However, uh, Judas... He, he did it voluntarily. He, he went into the scribes and the Pharisees. He says, if you give me this amount of money, I'm going to sell Jesus out. So there's a difference between uh, the, the, the way these two guys uh, went about uh, when it comes to uh, re uh, denying the Savior. Okay? That, that's just something I wanted to clarify because people have a misunderstanding say that uh, Peter did uh betrayed Jesus the same way Judas did. It's not the same. Uh, Judas, he did it voluntarily. Peter was out of fear. He had love for God. It's just that in that circum, uh, circumstance that he found himself in, uh, he was burdened with fear. And, and uh, yeah, he was, he was fearful because of the, 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 the pain and the, the suffering that he saw Jesus going through. Okay, now... Now, before we, we go to the, the next verse, uh, I want to show you that there, there is something called willful sin and involuntarily, involuntary sin. So, willful and involuntary sin. Willful and involuntary. Now, you can never commit a greater sin involuntarily. Because involuntarily means you didn't know that that was a sin. Okay, so so you're not going to be in trouble as someone who sins willfully. Because when you sin willfully, you say you know what you're doing is wrong, but you have a joy and a pleasure in doing it. Okay, so there's a difference between... Willful and involuntarily, willful is worse. Is worse is a worse sin to commit than involuntarily because involuntarily you don't know. 
you don't know that's a sin. When you know something is a sin, that's when it becomes willful. Now, the last point I want to show you is the levels of sin. The last thing I want to show you. Think of it kind of like a, a thermometer. If you would say there's a... Uh, let me see if I can draw. Okay, let's just... Uh, Sin. Now there there is levels to sin. Okay, uh, a child, for example, who steals a little piece of candy. Okay. He 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 would be. He, he sinned, yes, he did wrong, but his sin is not worthy of death, okay? Um, so his sin would be somewhere up here. But someone who, for example, like Hitler, I know people like using the, him as an example. Hitler, since he killed millions of people or thousands of people, then his sin would be down here you see it will be closer to death you see there's a verse in James that says not all sin leads to death so a child stealing a piece of candy you see he, his sin won't lead him to death it won't it won't have the same effect as somebody who has been sinning for years and years and who know what they're doing is wrong but don't care okay uh, so so I want you to know that there's levels and degrees to sin and God doesn't view all sins uh, equally okay there's a greater uh, there's a greater sin and there's a lesser sin what a, ch a child stealing a piece of candy would be a lesser sin someone who's been uh, killing people for thousands of years or raping and and having uh, pleasure in doing those bad actions would be uh, in the greater sin okay so we we'll just put lesser and then greater Okay, so I, that's just the understanding that I want you to have, that not all sin is equal. There's a greater sin, there's a lesser sin. And um, I hope that uh, this video helps you, helped you understand the, the magnitude of sin and how God views it. God doesn't like any sin, but uh, He is more merciful on those who commit the lesser sins because they don't know better or they, they might do it involuntarily, unwillfully. And even if you do sin willfully, God forbid that God is merciful and He will uh, forgive you if you repent. So I hope that this video helped you understand that uh, not all sins are equal and, that, uh, and also helped you to understand what sin is. You see how sin is uh, neglecting to do, good, to do good and choosing to do evil, breaking the laws of God and rejecting God's word and Jesus' words and advice. Amen. So uh, may God bless you.